Hi, how are you doing? This is Stephen here from Askwin Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Root Manager and how to create managed accounts on your client machines. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, come to your dock and launch Work Group Manager 10.8. You need to put all your credentials in here and hit connect. What we need to do is uh, authenticate. Let me get rid of this. Let's authenticate first. And let's get uh, delete this because I want to start fresh here. Okay. So basically, just want to show you here's my server. I'm running this on my external drive. This is, I created an open directory master. I do have a video on that on my uh, YouTube channel explaining how to create an open directory master. Um, also, I will be creating uh, more videos, so go ahead and subscribe uh, to keep updated. Um, so let's get started here. What we need to do is I'm going to uh, remote into my client machine. Let's put the password in. Okay, so there's my client machine. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create an account on Recruit Manager. So what we're going to do is going to hit the uh, new user plus sign here. And we're going to call it, let's see, let's call this the test, uh, test Mac one. And let's give it a password temp123. Temp123. All right. I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to set the preferences. Now, on client machines, uh, if you work for an educational institution like uh, a university or a junior college, um, you're going to get a list of, um, you know, of what you want on the managed accounts, like what you want on the doc, uh, what preferences you don't want to be uh, accessed to. So this is basically what we're going to do. And you're going to also get where if you want printers to be able to print from this account, uh, you're going to basically build, you're going to apply policies to this account uh, so it's limited. So, uh, so students don't, you know, they don't have access to everything. So it's controlled by Workgroup Manager. So let's get started here. We're going to go to Preferences right here. And here in Applications, I'm going to click Always, uh, you, can, you can allow applications to be launched and you can uh, restrict applications to be launched. I don't really use this section all the time, but I have in the past and it does work and it's really easy to figure out. So we're gonna skip this. I don't use widgets, uh, front row or legacy. Let's go back to preferences. Uh, nine classic, I uh, don't use that, so we'll skip that. The dock, yes, I do use the dock. And this is the basically, you see the dock down here? right down here. This is what's um, on the client machine, the uh, managed account. Uh, you can, you can um, apply certain applications. You can add certain applications to the dock that will, will appear in that uh, uh, managed account. So I'll show you exactly how that's done. So basically you want to come to manage and click always and select the top here and, this, and uh, come down here, hold the shift key, select all and hit the minus. And you want you do not want to merge with uh, user docs so you want to uncheck this and hit apply now and now let's go add a few applications so now in order to this to work uh, perfectly um, on your server you're going to have to have uh, the same app you're gonna have to have the application there and you're gonna on your client machine you're gonna have to have the application there in order for this to work so I'm just gonna use uh, the stock apps here I'm gonna pick dictionary uh, let's see here let's do iTunes let's add that and let's add a browser and a Safari let's add that and we're gonna hit apply now okay so let's go back to preferences. Uh, dock displays. Uh, you can do this. You can control the dock. Um, you know how you can move it up and down like this. I I never really do that. I 
let the students build, you know, if you want to lock it down, you can, we can do that. Uh, uh, you can make it uh, go to the right, to the left. But in this case, I'm just going to, uh, I'll hit apply. Um, but I usually never use dock display. So let's go to preferences and let's go to finder. Here we're going to hit always. And I use, uh, usually click normal uh, finder and I leave everything default. I want to see my hard disk. I want to see external disks. Uh, I want to see CDs, DVDs, iPods, and I want to definitely see my connected servers. So, and I don't really mess with anything down here. I just leave everything by as default. Uh, so we're going to hit apply now. Uh, commands, uh, I click always and I always unclick go to iDisk. Um, and hit apply, leave everything else the same. Hit apply now. Views, um, I, hit, I click always and for desktop view, for the desktop, basically this is the desktop. Um, I leave everything default unless somebody says, well I want the, the icon smaller, you can do that. But I just leave it at 48. And usually I'll keep range by name, so I'll click that and hit apply now. Go to preferences. Here, um, I don't use in login, let me go back to that. In, here in the login, I don't use the Windows options access scripts, but items, yes I do. And I want to manage, so click always. Here is this, in our um, manage accounts, we auto mount folders so students can save their work and all that stuff. So we're gonna auto mount a folder here. So basically what we need to do is hit Command K and I'm gonna go to my drive here. I'm gonna hit Connect. Now, note this says SMB. Now if you're using a NAS drive, uh, you're gonna have to use SMB colon forward slash then uh, your IP address unless you're using a, a server, an Apple server. Then it would be AFP colon forward slash forward slash and then whatever uh, IP address you're using. So in this case, I'm going to use SMB. Hit connect. And I'll put my username and password in here. Hopefully I get this right. Okay. And we're going to use Mac files. We're going to mount that baby. And what we're going to do is, uh, once it's mounted, we're going to click and we're going to drag that in, just like that. And we're going to select it and we're going to hit apply now. And that's it. So this is going to auto mount. It's going to prompt us on the client machine in the managed account and to add it to that account to the keychain. So every time you log into that account, it's going to auto mount this folder. So let's go back to preferences. Uh, media access, let's click always, and I basically just hit apply, and that's it, I don't do anything else here. So let's go back to preferences, mobility, yes. I click always, and I want to create mobile account, I want to have confirmation that I've created this account, and I want to cache that account in, and uh, you want to do this because say your server goes down. You want to be able to still log in, especially in a lab environment. You want the, to be able to log in and have the students be able to do their work. The auto mount probably will go away, but at least they can log in. So basically, I always um, have this configured to um, create a mobile account and ha have a confirm. I don't use account exper uh, expiry rules, home sync, and options. I don't use those, so I won't explain that back to preferences network I never touch this and I don't touch sharing interfaces back to preferences parental controls uh, don't touch this at all um, maybe if you are at home maybe you do but I, I don't touch this at all printing yes I do managed always click always and basically uh, managing printers um, you want to add your printers to your server so basically what we want to do is you can go here, open up printer setup, and it'll open up the uh, print and scan on your server here. And you want to add uh, certain printers that have your, your static IP and uh, the protocol, usually which is HP Jet Direct Socket. Uh, once you add your printer, usually it would come right up. It'll populate 
and usually the OS will have the printer, especially if they're HPs. Um, if it's a Dell, you're going to have to go get the Dell driver and install that, and then it should come up after you put the IP address in there and everything. So basically, you add the printer to the server, and after you're done doing that, to this account, you'll see the printers here, available printers. After you add them, you'll probably have a huge list. Um, and then you want to hit add right here. So where it says add, and then it will add to this account, test Mac 1. It will add to this account. And then you would hit apply. Uh, I'll make a video on how to do this. I don't have a printer right now, but once I get one, I will get that video out. Um, here, access, you'll see the printers here that you just added, and you can make the printers default, make a default printer, meaning you can have that every time a student prints, it'll default to that IP address, and it will print to that printer. And you can also have it require a administrator password. And you can see here, grayed out here. Well, if there was a printer in here, you would just click, th click this, and they would have to put administrator password in to access, to be able to print, actually. So... Uh, look out for that video in the future. Um, software updates. I uh, never used this at all, but you can put a URL in here and have uh, Apple do software updates. System preferences. Yes, I do use this. Manage. You have to click always. Now, basically, these preferences you can turn off and turn on. Um, basically, what happens for me is I get a list of the type of preferences. Uh, the instructor wants uh, on for the students and what they don't want on. So basically they're like this. When they log in you'll see a bunch of preferences and um, they'll be grayed out. So let's turn them off, show none, and hit apply. And let's pick some here. Let's pick desktop, uh, displays, let's see, mouse, and one more. Let's see, one more. Print and scan. And let's hit apply now and go back to preferences and universal access. I never use this, so I won't explain that. And basically, that is it. That's a quick overview of Workgroup Manager when you want to create managed accounts. So now let's go uh, log into our managed account. So let's go here. Now, there's one thing here since I'm using this at home, let's collapse this this over here. I got to go to my server and come over here to my users and here's my local network user. I'm going to double click this and I have to instead of custom I got to make sure it's the folder is created locally on my server. Click done and that's it. Collapse that, bring this over and let's log in. Let's see here it's test Mac one. Test Mac one and let's put in the password. Should I should get a confirmation? All right, we got confirmation. So uh, it asks, it's asking us to uh, create a mobile account with this portable home directory. Yes, we want to do. We want to create now, and we're going to create it, and uh, it's going to log in. And you're going to get this window. You want to hit skip, skip, and hit that, and boom, Mac it mounted. So basically, um, what happened was is uh, before I paused the uh, when I paused the video, I had some technical difficulties, uh, but everything's working fine now. Basically, it did prompt me here. I got a box here. And uh, it did say, do you want to mount this drive? So I did put my credentials in and um, it came right up. So, um, so it's saved to the keychain. So what we're going to do is we're going to log back out and log back in to show you that this auto mount works perfectly fine because I know it can be a big deal, um, especially in a lab environment if you're auto um, Auto mounting uh, shares in uh, managed accounts. Okay, put the password in here. And okay, so here's the prompt right here. So, what we're going to do is put in our credentials.
And if you want to save it to the keychain, and connect. Okay, so there we go. So now I saved it to the keychain. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and test it again and make sure that auto mounts. And it should auto mount. If not, there might be something wrong with my keychain, but I think we'll be all right. All right, here we go. Password in. And there we go. Keychain's fine, it auto mounts. So that's how you create managed accounts. So you go over here, system preferences. You got the ones that you don't want. You set them, they're all grayed out, and the ones that you do want. Now this is critical for a lab environment. So basically that's a brief overview of Workgroup Manager and how to create managed accounts and add uh, the policies. Okay, so if uh, you have any questions, uh, leave, the, leave the questions in the comments below, subscribe, um, and also I have, do have a Facebook fan page, and uh, go ahead and uh, go over there and ask me some questions. If you need a video made for you, just let me know, and if I can do it, I will. I will talk to you later. Bye.